everyone, this is a tutorial on how to use Kami. We'll use Kami for several different assignments and it's a really pretty awesome tool. Once you get used to it, learn a couple of tricks. Here's a couple of things that we've learned as we've been working with this for the last few months um, that make using this really easy. First thing is um, I will always do the Kami assignment as a assignment in Canvas. So when you go to Canvas and click on the assignment, it will say to load this into a new tab. So you just click on where it says load this into new tab. And once it loads, this is what it looks like. You'll have a series of tools on the left hand side. And at the very top, it says there's a plus and a minus. So if you use that plus, you can zoom in. So if you need like really tight space to work on something and you need a little space, you, you can zoom in and really kind of have that space you're trying to write or work expand, making it a lot easier to type or to write or to draw different things into it. So know that you can zoom in and zoom out with those little plus and minus button there. Across the top is also your submit and unsubmit. You can submit an assignment and then you can unsubmit it and make changes and resubmit it um, very easily for those tools across the top of it. On the left hand side, the tools that you're going to use most often are going to be the drawing tools. If you click that, there are different colors. If you would use any color but green, green is my color. Um, you can use any other color you want to do the work, which is kind of fun. So drawing is you're just simply going to draw. If you hit the eraser and touch it, it'll erase, make it go away. There are shapes that you can add. So there are circles, there are lines, the lines we can use for slope. So we can use the lines to draw a rise over run and things like that. And there is also a text box. A text box is our favorite thing to do. Wherever you want a text box, you just touch the screen and there you can type whatever you want to type. And then you can move that text box wherever you want to move that text box, text box to be. Fractions are the one things that tend to be a little bit tricky. What most people have found to be helpful is to take a text box and they might type the numerator, put another text box right below it, and type whatever the other part of the numerator is. And then they'll use the drawing tool to just draw a line in the middle. So that's one way to do fractions when we're, when we're doing that. There is an equation button. If I erase that, there we go. There is an equation button that does have some symbols like less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. It has some different symbols that are on there. Um, it has pi, so we get to pi. Um, it does have some of the symbols that we'll be using for other things later on down this trimester. So, but the text box is your friend. This one right here, that's a, the majority of things you're going to do is just going to be to click and then you can type 6 equals 3 plus 4. And you can do another text box right below it and you can say you know, 6x minus 5y equals 24. It's way faster than trying to write it out with your pen to draw it. Um, so make sure so you can erase them if it's not what you want it to do. Pretty cool tool. So have fun with Cami. I'm looking forward to seeing your assignments. Just make sure when you're done with it that you hit submit. Um, and you should be able to go back into Canvas and see that you have submitted it from there.